Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. Dr. Zeke has come again. He's not talking about this uh, this tussle, this quarrel, this uh, rancor between UAG and uh, AGPGN. So he has a lot to say about it and he has uh, something to say that will benefit the beneficiaries about the quarrel, you know. So listen to him, drop a comment in the description, what we just want, we don't want all this commentary, all this analysis, all these, uh, all these talks, what we want is just this disbursement, it's long overdue, it's long overdue. Anyway, Sha, listen to him and uh, drop your comment in the description, see you on the other side. Good day fellow members of the Grand Community in Nigeria. Uh, you will recall that in my first V note, I promised to address three issues. One of them is the introduction of a new grant, Epic Charity Foundation. And the other one is the, uh, the illegal and clandestine appointment of uh, a supposed president for cooperatives, for CEOs of cooperatives and uh, NGOs in Nigeria. The third is the UAG and AGPGN confusion. Uh, my name is Dr. Zik. And I'm going to talk about the last uh, issue, which has to do with UAG and AGPG and confusion. At this point in time, I understand that a lot of people are going through a process of confusion in the grant community because of UAG and AGPG and confusion. Well, some people say it's not there's nothing confusing and i want to tell that line that there is nothing nothing confusing about the whole scenario till tomorrow we hold uag in high esteem much as we hold agpgn in high esteem these two has worked assiduously to ensure that the poor people in nigeria breed and the poor people in Nigeria are compensated for for the poverty in which they were subjected to over the years. Now, but for some times now, there seems to be a complete division between UAG and AGPGN. Even within the grant community, some people say they are for UAG, others are for AGPGN. Some are for Paul and some are for Apollos, but it ought not to be. However, let me make it clear that this seeming confusion is for the good of the CEOs, is for the good of the beneficiaries, is for the good of the poor masses in Nigeria. Why did I say so? I say so because I have listened to both sides. I've listened to UAG and I've listened to AGPGN. Under UAG, though Madam Temitokwe is still trying to find out whether they have document or not, whether the grant is genuine or not, until it is proved, we cannot say it is not genuine. But what we know is that UAG under Apostle Ken Wakama has sold a grant to us in Nigeria and we have subscribed. The CEO that subscribed and paid money, not only subscribing, we subscribed and we paid for it. So, and because of that, there is an enterprise agreement. There is an enterprise agreement that is between us and UAG to give us grant at the end of the day. So, and repeatedly, the UAG country director have said that he's in charge. And I want to believe that he's actually in charge. So, my dear Apostle Ken, you are in charge of, on the grant that we subscribed. We are expecting to get the grant as soon as possible. The word as soon as possible has been used and misused and misused in the grant community by grant handlers. So, 
I won't even want to borrow a leaf from them because UAG grant is long overdue. So we expect the grant from UAG. AGPGN is under the control of Abdul Jama Machine. Comrade Abdul, we are expecting palliative because I have listened to you and you told Nigerians that there is a palliative that you are working with the federal government to give to subscribers or to give to Nigerians. We are expecting that palliative from you and the government. The earlier you do it, the better because Nigerians are dying. As I'm talking to you, people have no food. People are, people are forced to fast and pray. Not because they want to fast, but because even if they don't fast, there is no food to eat. So the best bet is to fight. So comrade, speed up the action. Tell the federal government that we are hungry. Tell the federal government that the poor people are dying. Because each time you come out to talk, you tell us about the committee. Each time UAG come out to talk about his own grant, he tells us that I'm a man under authority. The authority is the one holding the grant. I have done what I'm supposed to do. So who is this authority? What you people have not told us is who are these committees that are holding our grant or the palliative? So anyway, let me not divert. Let me just say it that why I say there is no confusion is that for UAG, we are expecting a grant which run into millions. Then for palliative, we are expecting uh, for, from uh, AGPGN, we are expecting a palliative that may not be uh, a, a, a huge amount according to JAMA machine. So why that is why I say it is to our advantage because the two are coming to us. Nigerians will get the grant from UAG that is controlled by Apostle Ken Wakama and Nigerian will still also benefit from the palliative that is coming from AGPG and under Abdul Jama machine. We must get the two. And the earlier we get it, the better. Okay? So, I think I have clarified the seeming confusion. There is no confusion here. We are expecting two funds. Two funds are coming in. One is a grant coming from UAG. The other one is palliative, coming from Abdul Jama machine of AGPGM. Thank you very much.